Someone said, good evening, Hello. there's a possibility of posting the words to a song on the, on the screen. Yes, not possible. Maybe tomorrow. We can still sing anyway. You can try to follow. I wanted to sing um, Hari Hari Bipale. This song is uh, Srimati Jamuna Devi asked Srila Prabhupada what was his favorite bhajan and he said Hari Hari Bipale. So he's um, Prabhupada wrote in the introdu introduction to the first songbook, which was put together by Achyutananda Swami. Papa wrote that the songs of the Acharyas are not ordinary songs, they are, they are, they are very significant, the purports to these songs. And but when they are chanted by devotees who are practicing Krishna Consciousness, these songs can bring about, bring about love of God. Prabhupada Rashi <laughs> So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Prema Pumartu Maha. This is the goal of life. Love of God. And uh, these songs by the different acharyas like Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Narutam Das Thakur, Lochan Das Thakur, and many more. They can help us in our practice of Krishna consciousness. So we shouldn't neglect these songs. Prabhu sako kad musvachari ishtas dhinas sake kad yos gali mums padeti musu Krishna samanya todel mes naturetami yu atmesti. Hadi Hadi Bipale Janama Goainu
In this song, Narottam Das Thakur is lamenting. Lamentation means purification. This kind of lamentation. We are told in Bhagavad Gita, don't hanker and don't lament. But this is different. This lamentation is Narottam Das Thakur is saying, my Lord, I have wasted my life uselessly. 
So if we realize our, the predicament that we are in, we will naturally lament. In material conditional life, we think everything is fine. So what is there to lament about? But <laughs> if we only knew <laughs> our predicament, we are in, you know, we are in an unfortunate predicament. We have gotten this human form of life after long, long time. I think we know that we can see this as a good school, a good school, a good school, a good school. And the opportunity of human life allows us to, it's a chance to become free, liberated. Vedanta Sutra tells us, Atato Brahma Jigasa, now is the time, human time. People want to know what time are we living in, this is human time. Now is the time to inquire about Brahman, spirit. But we don't do that. Instead we inquire how to make money. Everyone is making inquiries about different things, but they're not making inquiries about Brahman Jigasa. So this is unfortunate. This is lamentable. Narottam says, I've wasted my life, such a golden opportunity, but I've misused it. And therefore, he says, knowingly, I've been drinking poison. So material life, it's to live a life of just for sense enjoyment. This is suicidal, drinking poison knowingly. Materialus gyvenimas tai kaip save žudybė, gerti nuodus žinant apie tai. So then he tells us, but in spite of our unfortunate condition, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu has come. They are uh, Brajendranananda Najay Sachi Sutta Hoilo Se, Balaram Hoilo Nitai. They are none different from Krishna and Balaram. And they have come. Golokera Premadan Harinam Sankit and they have brought the real wealth of Goloka, which is Nam Sankitan. It is such a wonderful process. This Harinam Sankirtan. It is not ordinary. We should not underestimate the potency of the holy name. Abhinatam Nam Namini. The holy name is non different from Krishna. And uh, 
Srila Prabhupada had full faith in the holy names. Šventas vardas nėra skirtingas nuo Krišnos ir Šilo Prabhupada turėjo pilną tikėjimą į šventą vardą. He, this wonderful movement is gone. Srila Prabhupada spread this movement by Harinam Sankirtan. Iskona šis nuostabus judėjimas jį Prabhupada išplėtė per šventą vardą, per Harinamą Sankirtaną. In the beginning he came to New York and alone without any followers or assistants or anything just faith in full faith in the holy name he chanted and then he just watched the effects of Nam Sankirtan he watched how it changed people's lives and and the movement sprung up he, he was amazed at it he was fascinated how this was going on Shilo Prabhupada atvyko į New Yorką vienas, neturėjo jokios paramos, neturėjo jokių padėjų. Ir tik švento vardo galios dėka, jisai stebėjo, kaip judėjimas jis įsklydė ir augo. And he would send his young followers out. They were very young devotees. Ir savo jaunus pasiekėjus jis išsiūsdavo su misija. Jie buvo labai jauni baktai. He would send them all over the world, foreign countries. And he was fascinated to see how this was spreading, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had predicted. So if we can, as I say, if we realize our predicament and how much time we have wasted, then that will serve as an impetus for us to apply ourselves to the chanting. Narutam Das Thakur concludes his song by praying to Radha and Krishna. Narutam Das Thakur has begged us to give us my best and most Radha and Krishna. He says, "I have no, I've wasted my life, but now, better late than never, I've realized my predicament, and now I'm coming to you. Don't." I have no other shelter, so don't kick me away. Just place me in a corner of your lotus feet. In, in commenting on this song, this last, the conclusion of the song, Srila Prabhupada said, that this is a nice position to be in, where one feels, I have no other shelter but Krishna. So this is a nice position to be in. Because normally we think, we, we look at other places for shelter, but not Krishna. And Prabhupada himself, he said in his own life, when everything was lost, his business, failed. He said he had, his business was doing good. He said, I had full scope to make a lot of money. And one astrologer said, oh, you can become as rich as the Birlas. But then everything, the market crashed, as they say. And he had no other shelter. So, he took shelter of Krishna. Ir šilo Prabhupada, komentuodamas šitą posmą, sako, kad yra labai gera nuotaika, taip kaip narodama tas takūra meldžiasi, kad viešpatė aš neturiu kito jokio prieglapščio. 
Šilavai Praupada, jas net astrologai buvo iš pranašavę, kad jam pagal jo astrologiją priklauso būti tokiam tapti vienam iš turtingiausių Indijos piliečių, kaip tuometiniai turtingi birlos. Ir kai Šilavos Praupados visi verslai visiškai sužlugo, kaip sako rinka, Šilavo Praupada priemė vienintelį vieš paties prieglapstį. So, Prabhupada, he searched the scriptures trying to understand why this happened to him, why his business failed. Šilo Prabhupada ieškojo šventrašiuose, kad suvoktų, kodėl jo biznes, nors viskas turėjo pasisekti, nepasisekė. And he found one shloka where Krishna says, that when I especially favor someone, my devotee, then my first business, my first installment of mercy is to take away everything from him. Šilo Prabhupada ieškodamas šastrojo rado tokia šloka, kad kai aš kažkokiam bakto esu ypatingai maloningas, aš pirmiausiai, pirmoji eilėjai iš jo viską atimu. And thus, that devotee has no other course but to take shelter, complete shelter of Krishna. Ir tada tas atsidavęs nebeturi jokio kito prieglapščio, kaip tik priimti prieglapsti iš Krišnos. Because as he lost everything, he lost his money, then, you know, when you, if you have a lot of money, you get a lot of friends, family members, But then when you lose everything, nobody wants anything to do with you. Kai tu turi pinigų, tu turi daug draugų, šeimos nariai nori būti su tavimi, bet kai tu viską prarandi, tu prarandi draugus ir palaikymą. So Prabhupada asked one of his god brothers, do you think this verse applies to me? Iš jau Prabhupada paklausė vieną savo dievo brolio, ar tu manai, kad šitas posmas galioja ir man? And his god brother said, definitely. Ir jie dievo brolis atsakė, žinoma. He says, you are such a wonderful devotee of Krishna. Tu toks nuostabus Krišnos baktas. He is directly taking charge of you. Jis tiesiogiai rūpinasi tavimi. So, Hari Hari Bipali, Janama Gvainu. Let us take shelter of Krishna. Taigi, Hari Hari Bifali Dženamu Ganu, priimkime Krišnos priegalapstį. Ką jūs? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Oh, 